The close back rounded vowel, or high back rounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound used in many spoken languages. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is U, and the equivalent X Sampa symbol is U. In most languages, this rounded vowel is pronounced with protruded lips. Endolabial. However, in a few cases the lips are compressed. Exolabial. The close back rounded vowel is almost identical featurally to the labia velar approximant w, u, alternates with w in certain languages, such as French, and in the diphthongs of some languages, u, with the non-syllabic diacritic and w are used in different transcription systems to represent the same sound. <laughs> close back protruded vowel The close back protruded vowel is the most common variant of the close back rounded vowel. It is typically transcribed in IPA simply as U, which is the convention used in this article. As there is no dedicated IPA diacritic for protrusion, the symbol for the close back rounded vowel with an old diacritic for labialization can be used as an ad hoc symbol U. Another possible transcription is U or a close back vowel modified by endolabialization, but that could be misread as a diphthong. Topic. Features Its vowel height is close, also known as high, which means the tongue is positioned as close as possible to the roof of the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. Its roundedness is protruded, which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together, and the inner surface is exposed. Occurrence Close back compressed vowel Some languages, such as Japanese and Swedish, have a close back vowel that has a distinct type of rounding, called compressed or exolabial. Only Shanghainese is known to contrast it with the more typical protruded endolabial close back vowel, but the height of both vowels varies from close to close mid. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, compression of the lips can be shown with the letter B as B simultaneous and labial compression or modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter U as an ad hoc symbol, but spread technically means unrounded. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Features. Its vowel height is close, also known as high, which means the tongue is positioned as close as possible to the roof of the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. Its roundedness is compressed, which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Topic. Occurrence. See also Index of phonetics articles Close central compressed vowel Close front protruded vowel Notes <laughs>